The measure tool function can be used to set our tool's lengths and radiuses. We can access its functionality by selecting the horizontal soft key, measure tool. Once in measure tool, I will use the vertical soft keys to select whether I want to do a length manual measurement, a diameter manual measurement, a length auto or a diameter auto measurement. The length auto function and diameter auto function will require a tool presetter to be previously interfaced to the machine tool. In our case, we're going to take a look at the length manual function. Select the length manual vertical soft key to access this application. Once in, you can see we can do tool changes by using the T command. We can select what type of reference point we're using with the work offset and set our physical datum or zero location. First, we do want to select a new tool because we're going to be setting a quarter inch end mill. With the highlight on my T function, I'm going to use the select tool, vertical soft key, come down, choose the tool from my tool library, say OK, and then initiate the tool change with a cycle start. Once the tool is in the spindle, we can now move the machine down and touch the top of the workpiece. In our case, we're going to use the 2-inch side of 123 block. We need to compensate for this 2-inch value by entering a 2-inch number into the Z0 reference. Now we can move down and touch the top of the 123 block. Once the tool is touching the top of the presetter, simply set the length by using the set length button. Now we can see that the 2 inch offset is taken into account in the Z field. As well, we can see the tool length offset is recorded in the TFS window.